Hey everyone, welcome to a quick head-to-head -head between Garuda Linux and Ubuntu. Whether you're new to Linux or already a pro, we're going to break down what each distro brings to the table so you can decide which one fits your setup best. Let's get started. Garuda Linux, launched in 2020, is based on Arch and built for performance and eye-catching visuals. It follows a rolling release model, which means you always get the latest updates and features. One of its standout features is the dr 460 nized KDE Plasma theme, which looks a lot like macOS, and it's fine-tuned for gaming. It even comes preloaded with tools like Steam and Lutris. Garuda uses the BTRFS file system, with built-in automatic snapshots for easy recovery, and features a user-friendly Calamaries installer. However, it's resource-heavy. 8 gigabytes of RAM and 40 gigabytes of storage are recommended, so it's best for powerful machines. On the other side, we have Ubuntu, the most widely used Linux distro, based on Debian. It's famous for being stable, beginner-friendly, and backed by a huge community. Ubuntu follows a fixed release schedule, with LTS, long-term support, versions released every two years that get five years of updates. It features the GNOME desktop, a clean and intuitive interface, it supports modest hardware, 4GB RAM and 25GB storage are enough, and it comes in various flavors, like Zubuntu and Lubuntu, for lighter systems. That said, GNOME can still be a bit demanding on low-end machines. So, how do they compare? Garuda is bleeding edge, with a slick interface and gaming tools baked in. Great for enthusiasts, gamers, and tinkerers, who want the latest and flashiest. Ubuntu focuses on reliability and accessibility, making it ideal for newcomers, professionals, and people running older or varied hardware. In short, if you want style, speed, and modern tools, go with Garuda. If you prefer stability, long-term support, and something that just works out of the box, go with Ubuntu. Give both a try if you're unsure. You might be surprised which one suits your workflow better. Thanks for watching. If this helped, leave a like, subscribe, and drop your pick in the comments. See you in the next one.